Here are 10 hidden Easter eggs in the new Summoner's War cinematic trailer. First of all, this is the very first time that we've ever seen the Summoner depicted in a cinematic. Up until this point, it's more or less just been a disembodied camera floating around with a bunch of monsters. So as a Summoner, this feels like a big step forward. Next, as we continue down the hallway of what I can only imagine is a representation of Come To Us headquarters, we see the dragon forging runes on the side. And he's so cute, dude. He's got his little hammer and he's working away. Dude's so talented. Had no idea that's where runes come from. Maybe they're taking some liberties with it. I don't know if, I don't think the dragon's actually forging them with a little hammer. It's cute to think about though. Lucian is the only monster to appear unawakened in the entire trailer. And speaking of Lucian, the whole time we're seeing Lucian pull out cards to express his emotions and react to stimuli around him. So the first time we see him, he uses one as a greeting. And then later when Elia falls, he pulls out the queen of hearts with him crying on it because I mean, well, our queen, dude, she hurt herself. You gotta cry for that. Then he pulls out the same card again when the cake is ruined by scrolls dropping in it. Though honestly, I don't know what cake is gonna get ruined by 10th anniversary scrolls. Those things are goaded. And then he does it one last time towards the end of the video to tell Elia that they fixed the cake. When the summoner and Elia are falling next to the Trial of Ascension, you see a pulse of energy come out of individual floors. That is the same pulse that occurs when you complete a floor in TOA. You can tell because it goes up one each time. Elia has Summoner's War stickers on the back of her phone. She's got an Orion emo, an arena sticker, and more. There's a legendary scroll there, Howls, the Devilmon camping. This is all right after they're falling out of the Trial of Ascension, but you get another look at it when she lands in the Dimension Hall. This whole sequence has got to be one of my favorite Easter eggs in the entire thing. First of all, we've got Elia and the Summoner both burning themselves on Faemon because it's hot as heck, dude. It's a volcano. But then Lapis pulls up in Faemon in a bus filled with the Hellhounds and Inugamis that she's been destroying all day. And the bus says, Hell level up on it. That's the bus to Faemon, dude. Of course she's driving the bus. She is most of our Faemon farmers. Then we get a little display in RTA featuring a lot of really iconic monster. Gianna's there, Leo's there, Josephine's there, and then later you can actually see Josephine and Hawthor dancing together, which is kind of cute because in a way, Josephine's a counter to Hawthor. So it's nice that they're making up. Also, if you look really close, you can see Raok is trying to open up a treasure chest. Thematically appropriate to the location, you can see that second awakened monsters make their appearance in the trailer as soon as Ellie and the summoner land in the dimension hole. There are also slimes there for some reason, and they're crying, which is sad as heck. And finally, the intro shot of the cake at the very beginning of the video is foreshadowing for the end. That very first shot shows Elia and the summoner standing on top of the cake. And then what are they doing at the end? They're standing on top of the cake. That's it for the list, but let me know if you noticed anything that didn't make an appearance in the video.